A tornado touches down in Massachusetts. The National Weather Service is still pinning down the specifics tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. We have team coverage on the weather system. Jacob Wyckoff is tracking the tornado's details here. Tiffany Chan and Jim Smith are on the scene in Webster. And we start tonight with Jim Smith, who is live on Main Street with the latest there. Jim. And Katie and Ken, still an active scene here tonight at this hour in downtown Webster. In fact, take a look over my shoulder here. You can see crews finishing tearing down the second of two buildings that had to be demolished after they were compromised by this tornado. All in all, it was a day that the people of Webster will never forget. Demolition crews finished what Mother Nature started in Webster, tearing down a building badly damaged by a tornado that tore through the downtown area, leaving destruction in its wake. And it was just coming through. It went through fast. It was loud. The house was shaking. A lot of wind. A strong wind coming through, and it was like a burst. The twister also brought down trees and whatever else it ran into. Everywhere you looked, there was destruction. The locals say there wasn't much time to think. Just to get the kids safe somewhere in the house, because it was going so fast, the wind, that I didn't have time to really figure out where to put the kids. As soon as I saw the screen fly off the window, I just said, everybody get into the bathroom, and my kids were screaming. Despite all of that damage, incredibly, there's only one minor injury, a woman driving whose car was hit by falling debris. So they were driving down the main street when the, when the tornado came through. So the roof of this first building came off, and it landed on the second and third building, and part of it landed on top of her car. She was treated and released, but at least two of these buildings had to come down. Lou Perrin owns one of them. Looks like a war zone. <laughs> the roof from the building here is on that building, and all the brick blew onto my building, causing it structurally to be unsound, so it has to be torn down. I'm just happy I'm alive. Now comes the recovery, which will take a while after a storm that has now officially been declared a tornado. We have confirmed that this is a tornado here in Webster. Um, it's going to be quite some time till we can come up with the uh, path length, the width, the magnitude of it, however. Here's a look live once again here in Webster as that demolition work continues. And once again, it does bear repeating, believe it or not, only one person injured in all of this mayhem caused by this tornado earlier today. And given that the damage that we just showed you, uh, it really is amazing. Live in Webster, Jim Smith, WBZ News.